What up? <laughs> focus people, let's stay focused. Oh, I need a shade, don't I? Give me just something to show you. <laughs> what up with you? Sip one with your boy. <laughs> Little story. <laughs> that one goes out to my new neighbors, my old neighbors. The ones who don't like me and the ones who do. Anyways, so Black Panther. I'm talking about this because I've been listening to different people's opinion on the Black Panther and why they like it, what the hype is all about. <sighs> it's all the movie. The movie didn't make me go, yeah, like black people have arrived. <laughs> it's a Marvel Universe movie, okay? Now, there's always some truth and some fiction somewhere. Uh, so, when we look at, when, when I start looking in depth and some of the things that they were saying, you know, and, and how Black Panther was, is, is touted to be this black people are mighty and strong in this phony universe, <laughs> it doesn't exist, mighty and strong and all this, I look, I looked at the movie in a very cynical way. It took me away from what I really came there for. I really wanted to see the Black Panther's powers and what he can really do because, I mean, the stuff that he can do is just ridiculous. You know, super speed, strength, and all this other stuff, fighting abilities. He actually did fight against Captain America. That's because they sent Captain America into Wakanda and he beat Captain America up and sent him home. Uh, he also beat up the Fantastic Four, <laughs> you know, each one of them by themselves, you know, and then he took them all on. So this guy is no joke. Like, they didn't really play his strengths to what they could, but that's okay. Uh, I did like the fact that the general, the chick, uh, I thought that she... The general remind me of okay. So re, remember in in the last movie in the whatever it was the uh, Civil War, where she came out. I think it was her or or one of the Wakandan warriors, the female, real tall, beautiful chick. She came out and told Black Widow, "Move where you will be moved." And Black Widow just looked at her and then she smiled. Uh, that smile was, really, I'd like to see that. And then even T'Challa was just like, you know, yeah, he was like, as much as I'd like to see that, you know, it's just not necessary. See, this is a type of thing that reminds me of, oh, man, I, I want to grab one of my comic books. This is a type of thing that reminds me of Wolverine and Gambit um, going at it you know, not really liking each other but playing on the same team because nobody really trusts Gambit because of what he is. Gambit is a thief from the bayou. That's what he does. He belongs to the the Thieves Guild. The Thieves and Assassins have been going at it, you know, all the time. But that's what he is. He's a thief. Nobody really trusts Wolverine because he is basically an assassin. So they had this kind of innate thing that they had. But nonetheless, they end up going out and kicking butt. So I, I was kind of, I was really interested in the general. I was like, I would love to see the general and Black Widow actually go out on a mission. Uh, T'Challa's girlfriend, um, I don't know who, I don't know who she was. Uh, the young lady who played the girlfriend, she was cool. She could fight, but she wasn't a general. The general was the fighter. You know, she's the general. The other girl was kind of like she was a spy. Is exactly what she was. I did like those aspects. I, like, I would love to get into seeing more of that on some, you know, on the, not the comic book side, but on the animation side. I would love to see that going on. I, I, I would even, I would even watch a Black Widow uh, in the general, whoever her name is, I would watch that movie. So, you know, I, but I didn't get what I came there for in its holistic view because it got political. Even, you know, his sister called, you know, the white dude uh, a colonizer. And it started to make me go, wait, what are we doing? You know, like, like I could see if the movie took place, you know, 100 or 200 years ago because, you know, uh, the Black Panther was around then. 
then I could see him, you know, see her saying colonizer. But it's like, wait, what? You've been known about white people. You know what I'm saying? You guys are the most technically advanced country in the world. And it just, some of the things that they were saying just kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. Like, it just didn't make sense to me. Also, the brother being killed, I didn't really dig that at all. Uh, because he was trying to help people, uh, black people around the world, which I understood is just like we have vibranium. And then when you look at the realistic side, you know, because people were dressing up in their African garb and going to the movies, you know, what? I'm okay with that. You know, for people slamming people against that, people dress in Batman and Spider-Man outfits and nobody clowns them. You know, they dressed up in ceremonial African garb to go and support the movie. Big ups to you. No problem with that at all. Uh, I wouldn't have done it, but nonetheless, hey, that's what you want to do to have to get a catharsis of the movie. That's what the movie's for, to get a whole uh, inter-spiritual feel. Like, if you can get that, then the movie succeeded. So I think the movie succeeded for some people in that fashion. However, outside of that, once you leave the theater... The reality is, is there's no huge meteorite that fell in an African, you know, uh, country somewhere and it gave, you know, black people superpowers. You know, the fact is we were colonized. The fact is we are still being raped and killed and over-policed and murdered on our streets and a lot of the murders is happening to ourselves. The fact is, is the pe black people are still lost because we're like crabs in a barrel. You know what I'm saying? Some people actually just want to go out and tear towns down. If you created, if you had a country all of a sudden, you put a bunch of black people in that country and, and and uh, it may have everything to their advantage, everything to their advantage, and no white people interfere with them, there would be so much civil war. Why? Because we love to fight and kill each other. Why? Because it's easy to kill each other. We look like us. We don't like us. And the darker the skin, the worse it is. Let's go out and kill each other. That's that's what we want to do. Eventually, it would be like Easter Island when all the people killed each other off. And that was it, you know? Easter Island, 640 miles from the nearest, you know, place of land. So what happened? They all starved to death and they all killed each other off because of war, civil war. That's what black people like to do, war. You know what I'm saying? You'd get some people be like, no, why are we doing this? You get other people be like, let's kill each other. This is what we're doing in our neighborhoods because we're claiming hoods of property that we don't own. This is my hood. This, this is not your hood. This is where you were grown up and disenfranchised. That's what this is. This is where they gave you a roach-infested apartment, and, you know, you know, we all know the story, you know what I'm saying? It, it's just ridiculous, you know, this is not your hood. You don't own this property. You don't own it at all. They own you. They control you, and that's the real truth of it all. So are we looking for some hope to come out of Black Panther? I wasn't looking for any hope. I didn't leave there feeling hopeful that all of a sudden... That, you know, Planned Parenthood wasn't going to slaughter, you know, children by the millions or that chemtrails wasn't going to fly over my head or that the police weren't going to stop me for no reason and shoot and kill me for no reason and then go on vacation. I didn't feel like another black man wasn't going to blow my head off for a pair of shoes. I didn't feel like black women aren't putting black men in jail for telling blatant lies and things that they've never even done. And, you know, or the, the fact that black women hate each other and run around with hair weave and makeup and don't even look like what they're originally supposed to look like. No idea. As a matter of fact, when you take all of that off, the butt pads, the tit pads, the extra this, that, and the third, the woman looks completely different. It's just like, this isn't what I bought. This isn't what I purchased. Can I send this back? I want a full refund on this black woman that I thought I met at the, you know, at the club some doggone where. Can I, that's why I don't go to the club no more. It's never what you buy.
I don't feel like those things have changed, gentrification. I don't feel like I can go out and get a job at any place regardless of the way I look. I don't feel like none, none of that. Black Panther didn't do none of it. It didn't change none of that. It is what it is. We live in a place that was colonized by the white people. They killed off all the Indians, and they took over this place. They nearly killed off all the doggone Hispanic people, but now they're flooding into the flooding into the country by the millions uh, and you know and because the Taino people you know they mate a lot faster than actually black people do and now you have a lot of Hispanic people who are pretty much taking over the country they are now the majority and now the white people are the minority you know so I don't think that the Black Panther movie changed any of that I don't have any hope you know, I didn't go into the movie with hope of change. You know, I didn't. Not whatsoever. So I, you know, I just want people to cut it out because to me, this movie is not political. I wish they would have left it alone and left out the politics. Because you wanted to see what Black Panther was to his country in the movie. What the symbolism of him and Killmonger and why there's such a clash between those two. And some people are taking a liking to Martin Luther King and then Malcolm X and yada, yada, yada. Listen, I was not against Malcolm X's theory. Uh, but the simple fact is if we go out and we start a war with the white people, we would be slaughtered. You know, in case you haven't noticed, that's been happening. You know, it's called the move people. Remember the move people in Chicago? What they do, they drop bombs, literally. The police drop bombs on these black people who just wanted to be separatists. They didn't want anything to do with white society. They were just like, we're leaving. Uh, so the CIA, FBI basically labeled them like they always do, terrorists or whatever. And they went and killed all the people. They blew them up with a bomb. Even though they had no guns, they weren't doing anything against America. They just didn't want anything to do with America. They killed them all. So do I think that Emmett Till is not going to happen anymore because of Black Panther? Absolutely not. You know what I'm saying? It do, <laughs> you know, do I think that, you know, uh, the terrible things that we do to each other is going to stop because of Black Panther? Absolutely not. So I wish they wouldn't have made it political. I wish they would have left it like it was. A movie. It's just a movie. You know what I'm saying? Now, uh, were there or are there some African countries that are doing quite well? Yes, there are. Every time you see an African country on the TV, you always see these people dancing in dirt or, you know, starving and all that. No, that's that's not all of uh, Africa. There are large cities and great vacation places in Africa. They have money over there. There's not a bunch of people starving. That's not everywhere. That's only a certain region. You got to understand that it's one of the largest con continents in the world. There's a lot of different countries in Africa, a lot of beautiful scenery in Africa. It's not all gloom and doom over there. So I wish people would just cut that out. Are there powerful people over there? Yes. You know, but was the whole of Africa pretty much colonized? Yes, it, it was. Even though there were some small countries that, you know, the white people, the Dutch, the English, and the French didn't want to go into because they had cannibals there. <laughs> some of those African people were and still are cannibals. They will eat you. <laughs> and that's all that's to it. Uh, but so there that is. It was a good movie for the most part. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciated it. Uh, I enjoyed watching it. Uh, it was a little too CGI'd for me. I, like I said, I would love to see Black Panther. Like, I loved him when he first introduced him and he came out. I would like to see him go on some missions with, like, Wolverine or somebody. Or even Captain America. Uh... And, you know, eh, that's just that. I want to see more of him, but I want to see more of him at ground level. I don't need to see more of him hyped up. I want to see more of him getting it in. The fight between him and Killmonger, not the fight at the end. The one where they were using shields and they no longer had superpowers and all that, that was a good fight. Anyway, it's your boy Tone 202. Peace.